Namo Buddhaya. Welcome to yet another episode in Inner Guide Q&A program. A quick question. I need to ask, how many times have you made timetables and to-do lists in the beginning of the year, maybe beginning of the term or beginning of the day, and you did nothing according to it? Now, we all have done this. We all have made to-do lists. We all have made timetables and we cannot stick to it. Why? Because we procrastinate. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about what is procrastination and how to stop it. So first of all, don't be afraid of procrastination. Why? Because it's a normal human nature. You know, average human is a good procrastinator, right? Average human is lazy. We all have that feeling of procrastination and we all have that laziness within us. But if you need to rise above the average, if you need to be someone special in this society, you have to stop these bad habits, right? So first of all, don't be afraid of the procrastination. We can stop that. Remember, the procrastination or the postponing, this mental laziness within yourself is a habit, right? So habits are all in your head. It's not in your body. It's not in your environment. It's all in your head. So you can control it and you can stop it, right? So first of all, let's talk about what is procrastination. The procrastination is that mental barrier or the mental resistance that keeps you away from doing the things what should be done, right? So for an example, when you wake up in the morning and if you have to study in the morning, do you feel like getting down from the bed and start studying? When you are in that situation, you, you find that mental stress and mental barrier inside you. Your mind says, no, just stay on the bed for five minutes. It's okay. I have time. I can do it later. That is what mind says all the time. But the same mind that told us to procrastinate will complain when the things getting worse. When the exams are near, when the deadline is ne near, if you haven't done anything, your same mind that directed you to procrastinate will, ex will complain for you. Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you uh, do the things according to the timetable? You are a procrastinator. That is what mind says, right? So we should not let our mind to trick us. So how to stop procrastinating? Well, there is a nice Dhammapada verse that was preached by our Supreme Buddha. In that Dhammapada verse, we find lots of things that will help us to stop this bad habit. Supreme Buddha says, Uttanavato satimato suchikammas nisammakarino. If a person is energetic, uttanavato satimato, if he is mindful, suchikammas nisammakarino, if he does the good thing and the right thing from his body and mind and from his speech, sanyatasa cha dhamma jivino, if he can control his sensual desires, sensual cravings, that diligent man's fame and wealth will be developed. So in that Dhammapada verse, we find everything what we need to stop procrastination. So what are these things? So Prem Buddha said, Uttanavato, be energetic. Take action. Well, there's only one way to stop procrastination and that is to take action. But that is a tough hurdle to jump, right? 
to be energetic, to take action and to do the works, it's a tough thing to do. So what we should practice to jump this tough hurdle? We should practice, first of all, we should practice the mindfulness. That is why Supreme Buddha said, Uttanavato Satimato. You should be mindful about yourself. You should be aware of yourself constantly. So for what we should aware, be aware, we should be aware towards our mind. Right? Now, before I told you, the procrastination is a mental condition. Right? It is all in your head. It's a thought, it's an emotion. So you should be mindful and you should be aware of your thoughts. Right? You should have that ability. When you become more aware of your thoughts, you can have that ability to detect what is coming inside to your mind. When the laziness comes in, when the lazy thoughts come in, you know, oh, that's a lazy thought. And now I need to take action. Right? When the anger comes in, you can detect it. Now there's anger now. My mind is angry now. When you become more aware, then you get the opportunity to control it. When you become more aware of your thoughts, you will have that ability to control that thought. So first thing is to be aware, to be mindful, right? So that is why Supreme Buddha said, Uttanvato Satimato. Suchi kammasani sammakarino. Do what is right, right? So when you're studying, if your mobile phone is next to you, right? After some time, you get that mobile phone and you scroll through social media. You scroll through the, through the phone. So in that time, if you can ask from yourself, am I doing the right thing? Am I doing the good thing? Am I doing the thing that should be done? Then your mind answers, this is not what should I do. I should study, get back to study. Right? That is why Supreme Buddha said, always do, do what is right and do what, it, what should be done first. Right? After that, in the spare time, in the leisure time, you can have that, that experience. You can, have that, uh, you can enjoy yourself. Right? That is why Supreme Buddha said, Suchi kammas nisam karino. Sanya tasach dhamma jivino. You need to have that ability to control your sensual desires, right? Now, your mind likes to go on to say, log on to social media, and your mind likes to be lazy and to stay without doing anything, right? So that is why your mind always try to procrastinate. So Supreme Buddha said, to be a special person, to have the successfulness into your life, you need to give up the sensual desires for some extent, right? So it is very nice and it's very comfortable feeling that you feel in the morning, in the on the bed, right? It is nice and warm. But if you need if you have to study, you have to give up that let that pleasurable feeling and you have to get back to studies. So that is why you need to have that mental power and mental ability to stop or to give up the sensual desires for some extent and do the work. Because if you, if you do the easy thing, right? If you, if you continue to do the easy thing always, remember, tomorrow will be hard. Your, your future will be hard. So if you need to be happy in the future, you have to undergo what is hard today. So that is why Supreme Buddha said, you need to control the sensual desires. If you can do these things, Supreme Buddha said, Appamattasayasobhivadrati, that diligent man's, that diligent man's fame and wealth will be developed. So these are the things which helps us to stay away from procrastination. So I need to share with you some more tips and more things to help you to stop this bad habit. Remember, the procrastination is a habit. 
and it is a way of relieving the stress right so for an example if your exams are near right if you have a lot to study normally what you do do you study or you procrastinate you procrastinate because your mind needs to relieve that stress in a way in some way so the, your mind choose the easiest way to procrastinate so always remember it is a habit and that habit can be broken so how to bro how to break your habit there is only one way to take action right do the opposite thing in the case of procrastination you have to take action right so that is what you you should be done and also there's another thing when you make the timetables when you uh, make the to-do lists always make the to-do lists and the timetables that you can afford sometimes students they make the timetables and to-do lists that they cannot afford the, those things right for an example many of us make the timetables like this i'm going to study for one and a half hours I'm going to study for three hours but your mind is not ready for that so what you have to do you have to make achievable and realistic goals and timetables let's say like this if you have to study for five minutes would you be happy only for five minutes your mind also happy and your mind tends to do that right so what you have to do just if you cannot study for maybe 20 minutes just make a timetable or a to-do list to study for five minutes tell your mind that i have to study only for five minutes just that it's all right then you have that motivation and then you have that power to get up from the bed and get up from the place where you are and start studying so what you have to do set the achievable goals in your timetables right you can start from five minutes or if you cannot start from five minutes just start from one minute it's okay if you cannot start from five minutes just start from one minute who cares it's okay the reason that we have to set these achievable goals is because when we set these small goals right small tasks in reality we do more than that right everyone can study more than 5 minutes everyone can study study more than 1 minute so in reality you do more than that right and by the time little by little you can increase the amount of time that you are studying right so that is much better than than postponing the works that is much better than doing nothing so always set the achievable tasks and there's another one ask one of your friends or one of your parents to review what you have done at the end of the day then you will have that motivation or you will have that power inside to do more and more to impress your friends maybe to impress your parents right ask one of your friends or parents to review and check what you have done and also this is the main thing that you have to do you need to change your mindset don't label yourself as a procrastinator remember you are not a procrastinator but you only have a habit of procrastinating so you can break it the more you label yourself as a procrastinator the more you will procrastinate so what you have to do change your mindset and think that this can be broken this bad habit can be broken and i have that power inside me to do work and to be successful okay so these are the things that we can do to stop procrastination and always remember finally always remember this right when you are procrastinating when you are postponing you are not only postponing and procrastinating your work but you also procrastinate your happiness so don't let your procrastination to destroy your happiness so stop procrastination by practicing these tips and have a happy life
नमो बुद्धाय